I obviously purchased a yearling, fell in love with him. I didn't pay a heap of money for him, and he's one of the few horses I've ever um, knocked back good money for to sell to Hong Kong after he won his first start impressively. And um, he won a quarter of a million dollars on the track in seven races, which was still significantly less than what he got offered, and I don't regret a minute of it. We, um, he's a horse I love. He, he's given me a great deal of enjoyment right through his racing career and uh, not only is he going to do that but he's going to go on and um, give Jade and Ella a great deal of enjoyment off the track. He's just a bit of a dude, he's, he's not only is he a beautiful looking horse, he's just a beautiful animal to deal with. Um, he's a big strong, you know, big strong horse but you'll see him with her, he's just so kind and, and gentle as well. For a, for a big strong horse, if, if, if I were to go and take him out to his yard or paddock, he'd, he'd let you know that he's on the end of the lead, whereas when Ella's around, he's, he's beautiful and docile. There's no doubt thoroughbreds know um, when they're dealing with little kids, you see it day in, day out. They're just such beautiful, kind horses, which what makes them such great off-the-track um, competitors. He adores her and I think she knows that she brides him a little bit with licorice and carrots but he's just such a kind animal, you know, to be so big and strong and, you know, essentially an athlete, um, to let a little bossy three-year-old get on and tell him what to do is, yeah, very rare. <laughs> It's no secret that I love going to Oakbank. Uh, I grew up there as uh, going there as a kid and, and watching a great old horse and my dad's friends or Rom compete so well in the Oakbank Cup there every year and it's a race that I always wanted to win. Uh, we're lucky enough to win the sprint last year with Taunting and, and, and but winning the Cup, although it's not a listed race anymore, that gave me the hugest joy. Uh, the finances aside, I'd, I'd have been happy to win it and not get a cent for it and to have Ella there and, and a lot of my friends and family there on the day was, was just a massive thrill. I said to Terry in the post-race interview, I said, I think that'll do him today, and I thought it was the, a fitting time for him to go out on top. No, look, he, he'll, he'll be here forever, and he'll, he'll take his last breath on this farm.